Hey guys, here's a quick setup of how I'm maintaining the uh, tankless water heater, uh, purging it with some vinegar. Uh, so ideally first, you want to go grab uh, some white distilled uh, vinegar. I got mine at Costco. You can buy them in two packs. Uh, make sure you have a submersible pump. It doesn't need, need to be anything too powerful. It could be one sixth of a horsepower. Uh, I got this off of Amazon. As you can see, it has a good flow with just one gallon of vinegar. Uh, most people use two to three gallons, but I mean, for what I need to get done, the one gallon of vinegar is good enough. Uh, make sure you have at least two pair of uh, washer hoses uh, so you can tie it on one end of the pump, the other end on the valves of where your tankless water heater is. So before you do all this, you have to make sure you turn off your, your tankless water heater. So I have a mobile app that I can just disable the water heater. Uh, the other thing you want to do is uh, turn the gas off. So when it's in this position, uh, horizontal, it's off so there's no gas going into the water heater. Um, and then uh, you have to turn these valves in the horizontal position. So you can turn off the valve to uh, disable the cold water current from going into the tank. And you want to also turn this to the off position as well, which it's going to be horizontal. Uh, and that'll turn off any type of cold water coming out. And then what you're going to have is you're going to have these valves right here. These, these are your flush valve systems. Uh, so you want to make sure you enable them in the direction of the hose um, so, that that, so that they're open, uh, both the cold and the hot. And then basically on the cold side, you're going to hook the hose up to your submersible uh, pump uh, where it's going to pump all the vinegar all the way into the tankless system. And then it's going to come back out on the hot water side uh, back into this uh, five gallon bucket here. You know, and, and again, I'm only using uh, one gallon of vinegar um, to see uh, what the flow is. And it looks like it's uh, pretty consistent. Uh, we have a family of five here, so I'm going to be running this a little bit longer than usual. So I'm going to be running at an hour and a half, you know, but uh, ideally you want to do it between one hour to an hour and a half. Running it longer is not going to hurt. Um, so, so definitely, you know, depending upon your usage of the water heater uh, annually, um, you know, do that as, as, as needed. Um, and uh, try to uh, flush your system out at least between 12 and 18 months, you know, try not to wait too long. Um, then the other thing that you might have seen from my cold line coming in is I actually have a little bit of a descaling filter that I use and I replace that every six months. So that helps with the tap water coming in and taking out some of the impurities. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure you, you do also is there's a filter in here right before it goes into the, uh, the tankless water heater. Uh, open this little valve out and then you'll see like a little uh, uh, filter inside there. Clean that. Uh, make sure the debris, there's no debris with it and then uh, put it back, tighten it up and then run and flush your system while that filter is in there so that the vinegar can also clean the filter as well too. So I uh, hope you guys uh, like this uh, quick little tip. Um, I'll put some links down on the, um, on the video description on the, uh, the submersible pump that I got from Amazon. And if there's any questions, post it in the comments. If you like this, uh, hit a like. And if you want to subscribe, uh, subscribe to my channel as I'm going to be adding more tips uh, into the channel. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye. So once you're done with the uh, cleaning of the vinegar through the uh, tankless water heater, what you want to do is you want to close the cold water turn that back in so that when you enable the cold water you leave this a little bit and you want to kind of flush the system uh, from the, vi the vinegar inside the system from the cleaning so basically kind of open this up a little bit you can hear the water going through and now it's coming out the other end so I want to purge it out a little bit